The invention of maps and charts is a fascinating chapter in human history. The map would have been, and still it does, fold in this manner. Mystical depiction. Later on, maps and charts for seafarers and soldiers. An ancient 300-year-old map was recently scanned using AI, and what it revealed is shocking the world. Hidden within its faded lines were strange clues that no one had ever noticed before. Details that shouldn't exist in that time period. How did these anomalies end up on the map? Who put them there? And why? The discovery has left historians baffled and the internet buzzing. Let's unravel the mystery buried in this centuries-old document. The Discovery In a quiet old archive, a team of researchers came across a map made over 300 years ago. At first, it looked like any other map from the past. The edges were worn. The paper was yellow. It showed parts of the world that were known in the 17th century. But then, they used spectral imaging to take a deeper look. Spectral imaging is a special kind of scanning that uses different kinds of light. It helps uncover faded lines, hidden symbols, and markings that the eye can no longer see. When the team scanned this old map, Something strange came into view. A full outline of Antarctica appeared, but the land looked bare, with no ice covering it. That caught everyone's attention. Scientists today know Antarctica has been covered in thick ice for thousands of years. Seeing it drawn without any ice from a time when no one had been near the South Pole was hard to believe. Still, the map was put through every kind of test to make sure it was real. Over the years, these uh, monumental maps often wind up with all kinds of condition issues. Experts checked the ink. They tested the paper. They studied the stitching and how the map was bound. Everything matched the materials and techniques used in the 1700s. There was no sign of forgery, no proof of modern changes. The team confirmed the map was truly from that time. But the details on it didn't match the knowledge people had back then. The shape of Antarctica was too exact. The coastline looked the way it would without ice. That detail left researchers stunned. This discovery is now being studied by scientists and historians all over the world. Many are trying to figure out how such a thing is possible. The map has opened up a mystery that may take years to fully understand. But this was just the beginning. When experts looked closer at the details, they found something that made the mystery even deeper. The impossible accuracy. Once the map was confirmed to be real, experts started looking closer at the details. That's when things got even stranger. The coastline of Antarctica on the map looked almost exactly like it does today. Every curve and shape matched modern satellite images. It was like someone had flown over the land with a camera, but this map was made over 300 years ago. The most surprising part was what the map showed under the ice. It had mountain ranges drawn across parts of Antarctica that are now completely frozen. These mountains were only found in the 1950s when scientists used radar to scan below the ice. Back in the 1700s, there was no way to see that deep into the earth. Along with the mountains, the map showed valleys and other features that modern explorers didn't know about until much later. Some of these details were confirmed only after years of research and high-tech equipment. Still, they were already drawn on this old piece of paper with surprising accuracy. Experts say this kind of detail is far beyond what mapmakers in the 17th century were known for. Back then, maps were usually based on guesswork or stories from travelers. But this one looked like it came from someone who had seen the land up close. The map, though, remains structurally sound, as you can see. Some believe the map could be copied from a much older one. Others think people in the past may have known more than we once believed. No one has a full answer yet. But everyone agrees on one thing. The accuracy of this map is hard to explain using normal history. It's now one of the most mysterious discoveries in the world of ancient maps. And every time someone looks at it, new questions come to mind about where this knowledge really came from. The perfect details were strange enough. But when researchers checked the history books, they found a problem that didn't make sense. Historical context and timeline issues. Most people agree that Antarctica was first seen in the year 1820. Two Russian explorers, Bellingshausen and Lazarev, were sailing through the Southern Ocean when they spotted the frozen land. That moment is known as the official discovery of Antarctica. Before that, the continent was only a guess on world maps. 
Some old maps showed it as a large blank space. Others left it out completely. But the strange map found in the archive was made more than 200 years before that discovery. It clearly showed the shape of Antarctica, even though no one had ever been there. And not just the outline. It also had features that were hidden deep under the ice. In the 1950s, scientists used ground-penetrating radar to study what lies beneath Antarctica's thick ice sheet. That was the first time anyone saw the mountains and valleys below the surface. This special radar sent signals deep into the ice and showed the land underneath. Before that, no one had a way to know what was there. Still, the map from the 1700s already had those same mountain ranges drawn out. The shapes matched what the radar found. The details were too close to be a lucky guess. The person who made the map seemed to know something that was not known for many years. This creates a big timeline problem. The map was made long before the continent was found. It also showed things that stayed hidden until modern tools revealed them. That does not fit with what we've always believed about history. Experts are now taking a new look at early maps and records. Some think old knowledge was lost over time. Others believe this map came from a forgotten source. Whatever the truth is, it makes the story of Antarctica much more mysterious. The timeline didn't add up. But then, researchers found a single word on the map that opened up an even bigger mystery. While going through the map, researchers found one small word written near the coastline. The word was Oront, written in Latin. At first, it looked simple, but the meaning behind it led to something bigger. The name Oront likely points to Orontius Phineus, a mapmaker from France who lived in the year 1532. He made a world map that confused many people. His map showed a large southern land that looked like Antarctica, but the land was not covered in ice. It had rivers, valleys, and mountains. Back then, no one had explored that part of the world, so people thought it was made up. That actually show the world as it looks during the last ice age suggests that somebody during the last ice age was mapping the world. The original map made by Orontius Phineus was lost a long time ago. Only a few copies of it still exist in museums. For many years, experts believed the map was based on old legends or sea stories. Some even said the details were random. But now, this newly scanned map brings back interest in the work of Orontius Phineus. The word Oront on the new map might mean the mapmaker used Orontius Phineus' work to help draw it. Or maybe both maps came from a much older map that no one has found yet. This small word could be a clue that links the two maps together. The placement of the word is also strange. It sits right where Queen Maud land is on modern maps. That area of Antarctica has mountain ranges and rocky land. The match between the old map and today's map is close and clear. This connection adds to the mystery. Both maps show an ice-free Antarctica with details that were only confirmed many years later. The name Orant may lead to a deeper story about forgotten knowledge. Now, people are looking at old maps again, trying to understand what was really known in the past. That one word led to more questions, but the strangest part of the map was still waiting to be found. The Mysterious Coordinate System One of the most puzzling features on the old map is a perfect circle drawn around the continent. From this circle, many straight lines stretch outward in different directions. These lines are clean and evenly spaced. They look like the kind of grid used in longitude and latitude systems today. This part of the map stood out right away. The way the lines are placed shows clear planning. They follow angles and directions that match modern maps. The circle and lines together form a system that helps divide the land into sections. It looks very close to the way we use coordinates to find places on Earth. But there is a big problem with that. Standard coordinate systems did not become common until the middle of the 18th century. That means most mapmakers in the 17th century were not using anything like this. They often relied on guesses, compass points, or basic shapes to create their maps. A grid like this should not be there. This map appears to be at least 150 years ahead of its time. Long ages ago, with an accuracy that we ourselves can hardly match today. The angles, spacing, and circle shape are too perfect to be random. Experts say the map shows a level of skill and understanding that matches modern standards in mapmaking. The person who made this knew something about Earth's shape, 
and how to divide space in a mathematical way. The precision in the lines and shapes is hard to explain. Some believe the mapmaker had access to knowledge passed down from an older time. Others think this could be proof of forgotten skills in early science. Whatever the answer is, this coordinate system adds another strange piece to the puzzle. It makes the map not only accurate in shape, but also advanced in design. The mystery grows deeper with every line and angle studied. Perfect lines that shouldn't exist, advanced math from the wrong time period. So how do we explain any of this? Theories and Explanations One theory that many researchers explore is the idea of ancient knowledge being passed down through generations. Long before modern science, skilled seafarers sailed across wide oceans. They studied the stars, followed ocean currents, and kept records of coastlines and islands. Over time, they gathered a lot of information about the world, including lands far from home. This knowledge may have been shared through stories, drawings or charts passed from one group to another. Even if the original maps or tools were lost, small pieces of information could have survived. Sailors might not have fully understood what they were passing on, but they still kept the knowledge alive. Some believe that ancient civilizations like the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, and Polynesians were much more advanced than people often think. These cultures had strong sailing traditions. They knew how to travel far across the sea and return safely. Their skills helped them map coastlines and explore unknown areas long before others did. Even if they never visited Antarctica, they may have heard stories or passed on images from earlier explorers. Over time, those pieces of information could have ended up in the hands of later mapmakers. The people who created the map in the 17th century may have used bits of old data without fully knowing where it came from, or how accurate it really was. That might explain how Antarctica appeared on the map with so much detail. The mapmaker could have copied information that was passed down for hundreds or even thousands of years. It's possible that the original sources were lost in wars, disasters, or the fall of ancient cities. This theory does not solve every mystery, but it shows how old knowledge can survive. Even when people no longer understand it, they might still keep it alive through maps, stories, or symbols. Meaning, newfound land, with the goal of finding a sea route to the Pacific Ocean. Some experts believe the map's accuracy may be linked to a special period in history known as the Medieval Warm Period. This happened between the years 950 and 1250. During this time, the climate was warmer than usual in many parts of the world. Warmer weather may have caused sea ice near Antarctica to melt or shift, opening up parts of the coastline. If southern areas became more open, sailors from that time could have traveled farther south than normal. They may have seen parts of Antarctica that are now hidden under thick ice. Even basic sketches or notes from those early trips might have been saved and used by later mapmakers. Recent climate research supports this idea. It shows that sea ice levels were lower during that time. This would have made short visits to the Antarctic region more possible than before. Another theory is that a lost civilization once had advanced skills in navigation and mapping. This culture may not be as famous as Atlantis, but it could have reached distant lands using strong ships and smart tools. Archaeologists now believe many early civilizations were more skilled than once thought. Some built large cities, traded across oceans, and used early math to track the stars. If this civilization made maps of Antarctica before it was covered in ice, those maps could have been passed down. Later generations might have copied parts of them, even if they didn't know what they showed. After the civilization collapsed, much of its knowledge may have been lost. There's also the chance that sailors accidentally found parts of Antarctica while off course. Shipwrecks or storms could have pushed them south. If any sailors drew what they saw, those sketches might have ended up in maps. Over time, people forgot how the images were made, but the drawings remained. Old trade routes helped share ideas and maps the Maritime Silk Road, Chinese fleets led by Admiral Zheng He, and Polynesian sailors all played a role. Their skills may have helped build maps that lasted for generations. Some parts of the map could have come from smart guessing. Ancient thinkers believed there had to be land in the south to balance the land in the north. They called it Terra Australis Incognita. In some rare cases, guesswork turned out to be surprisingly close to the truth. 
these theories help explain some things. But to really understand this mystery, we need to look at how maps were made back then. The cartographic tradition. To understand how strange maps like this could exist, it helps to look at the long tradition of map making. For thousands of years, cartographers relied on earlier maps, charts, and notes passed down from generation to generation. Most of the time, they did not start from scratch. They copied, adjusted, and combined information from older sources. This chain of knowledge copying often lasted many centuries. One famous example is the Piri Reis map, made in the year 1513. This map shocked people because it showed parts of South America, and possibly even Antarctica, with surprising detail. But Piri Reis himself wrote that he used many older maps to create it. Some of those sources were said to be over 300 years old at the time. That shows how information can survive across long stretches of time, even when people do not fully understand what they are copying. Many map makers acted more like collectors. They gathered drawings, sailor notes, and fragments of older charts. They respected their sources and tried to include as much as they could. Often, they trusted what was in front of them without knowing if it was right or wrong. The goal was to preserve information, not always to question it. Piri Reis has succeeded in describing the coastline and islands of the newly discovered regions of the world. This might explain how details about Antarctica ended up in a map made before the continent's official discovery. The person who made the map could have been copying older records. Even if they didn't know what the land was, they still added it because it came from a trusted source. Over time, the meaning behind those shapes and lines may have been forgotten, but the content stayed alive through careful copying. This tradition shows how ancient knowledge can survive in pieces, passed from one hand to another. That process helped keep many old secrets alive, even into modern times. The way maps were copied and passed down helps explain a lot, but this discovery is changing how we think about the past in ways no one expected. No rethinking exploration and ancient knowledge. The discovery of this ancient map has opened the door to a deeper look at how exploration and knowledge may have worked in the past. For many years, the history of discovery has focused mainly on European explorers. Textbooks tell of famous journeys made during the 15th to 19th centuries, but this map, with its precise detail of Antarctica, makes that timeline feel incomplete. If someone mapped parts of Antarctica centuries before its official discovery, then earlier cultures may have reached farther than we believed. This challenges the Eurocentric view of global exploration. It also shows that knowledge can exist outside of official records. Seafaring cultures like the Polynesians, Arabs, and Chinese had long histories of ocean travel. They explored wide regions, developed tools for navigation, and passed down detailed knowledge. This map supports the idea that their contributions were far more advanced than often credited. Multiple pieces of evidence now support this theory. The word Orant ties the map to earlier lost works. The circular grid drawn across the map reflects a high level of mathematical understanding. Far ahead of the time, the coastline, mountain ranges, and fjords of Antarctica match modern satellite images. Even ocean depths align with today's data. These elements combine into something that is hard to explain using what we currently know about history. Digital overlays have made the evidence stronger. When the ancient map is compared to satellite maps, the lines match up in ways that go beyond chance. The accuracy in shape and placement shows that whoever made the map had access to advanced information, possibly passed down from forgotten sources. This doesn't mean we should erase our current history books, but it does mean we should ask more questions. The map shows us that ancient people may have known more than we think. Their understanding of the world, passed through maps and stories, may still hold secrets waiting to be found. So, whether it's ancient maps, lost explorers, or knowledge hidden in plain sight, one thing's clear, history still holds secrets we've barely scratched. If this blew your mind even a little, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There's a lot more hidden history out there, and we're just getting started.